Kiko. Ven. Kiko, come. This is Tico, this is Ven. These boys are brothers. They got the same mother, Takla. <laughs> Couple of total rock stars. Unbelievable dogs. Totally unbelievable. So Tico was out of the first litter of Tecla. Ven is out of the last. Pretty astounding pair of dogs. So we're doing some off-leash training today. We're in British Columbia, Canada, and I raise elk hounds, and I'm a remote terrain dog handler. So I set the pups up for the owners in remote terrain so that the owners can get them home and just kind of more or less go hiking. And uh, these little guys, this is his first hike. I had his brother Jaeger out here yesterday with Tico's brother, Mon. So it's like the mirror. I've got two exact same genetics, two days in a row of different dogs. And uh, phenomenal dogs, this guy. This is Ben, he's heading out here right away. Uh, Kenny and Ann are coming to get him. He's uh, just a rock star, totally calm, stable, mentally stable dog. Tico is an uh, exceptional He's, he's very, very skilled at what he does. He ranges a little further than Mon. He's not quite as skilled at training, but he's excellent anyway. But he's extremely good at watching surroundings. He's very, very sharp, that dog. Tico, come by me. Vent. Vent. Stay here. Tico. Vent. Stay around, Tico, just stick around. Tico's waiting for a couple of the crew daughters to get uh, old enough. He's gonna have a couple of hookups there with them. I got a couple of beauty queens for him. <coughs> Kaliba and Kassa are uh, ideal for him. I bred them specifically so that he would have something to work with. So the Desna program, I started right when the pup is in the womb, but uh, we carry on all the way through once they whelp from the early days of the pup right straight through. It actually can run 16 weeks. Ben will be gone home before then. But he's already locked in. He's solid. We'll take the handlers just a day, one day on the trail, and he'll be locked right into them. You just stay here, Tico. Bring him in the video. Ben, Tico. Tico, bring him in the video. Here. Roll over here. I don't think you guys are catching that. Just come here, Tico. Tico, bring him in. Just bring him in the video. Going to be. Glad you guys. Jesus, you guys are Oh, Tico. Oh, Tico. I never had to 
say his, his name once all the way here. He loves his brother. He just loves his brother. Oh my God. No, don't take him over the hill. Good. Keep him on this side. I can't see him in that dark forest, so I come up here to film him. Good boys, good boys. What a good set of boys. Jesus, you guys are good. I'm going to spin this around. It's an overcast day today. Saturday. Hmm. Mid to end February. I think it's about 18, 19. It's a Saturday. Might be 19th. 2022 fairly early in the day yet just nicely had breakfast got everybody looked after got on the trail got a lot of hiking today so next time I'll try and bring both brothers Van and Jaeger out I have to get them both fairly focused to make it by the all the other dogs they get sidetracked going to the pens phenomenal dog that dog that's a Tecla and pretty boy leaf pup and uh, Tecla's daughter Luna is also bred to pretty boy leaf and she's coming in in a bit and Tico's sister, Vida, is bred to Pretty Boy Leaf. And she'll be in in about 10 days. And she's got a big belly. And I'm hoping she's got lots of pups because there are lots of people waiting. And those pups will be almost identical to this guy. I mean, there's one genetic change, but it's almost all. Tico, come on up. I just keep Tico up here and Ben will stick around. Come on, Tico, stay up here. Come on, boy. Tuva is bred to Karoo. She's eating like a wolf, I believe I can see a belly. Tico's a magnificent dog. He has not had a litter yet. And I'll do a video on him specifically fairly soon, but I'll do it with his two beauty queens there, Cleva and Casa. So you can see what, uh, what I've set up for him. You can see how a pup models the big dog. He's very, very good-natured, awesome dog. Alcons are extremely good with other dogs, little pups, all that. Exceptional family dogs. Tico's extreme bear hunter. He's as good as anybody I got. He can tell me bear before anybody else. Tico, don't go over the hill. I just want to see him. Good boy, good boy. I mean, uh, all my dogs are extreme scent dogs, so they can catch bear easy, every single one of them. But Tico just has a real knack for it. But I've run him in a lot of bear 
uh, areas. I use him on the bear trail all the time, so he's he's right in tune with it. As soon as we turn onto the bear trail, I mean, he's excited. On oh, yes, Oh, well, just about fell over with that. Um, the snow is soft. So my tripod just sunk right in there. But I can't control Ella when she gets a scent. She is gone. She's right out of Finland, right out of the heart of the Karelian district. Pure bear line. And uh, she gets a bear scent, she's going to treat it. So it's, uh, I, I run a harness with her in Bear Trail. She's bigger than Tico. She's pretty much the biggest dog I have. I mean, she's about the same size as Ark. Okay, you guys, you come out over here by this twig. You come with me, buddy. Come by me. Kiko, come back here so he'll come. Bring him here. Bring him here. Good. Come on, Ben. Ben. Uh, come right here, boys. Come on, Ben. Get this. Come here. Come on, Ben. Tico would be about five, I guess. Born on the night of the supermoon. Phenomenal dog. Bigger, bigger male than most. Rough and tumble. He has a few go-rounds with Ark and Apostle. I mean, they, they can't handle him. So he's a pretty rough fella. Come on, Ben. Get over here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Phenomenal dogs, these two. Just really spectacular. There's my boy. There's my boy. There's my boy, Ben. What a good boy. Oh, man. Jesus, you're a good boy. Holy cow. Wow. Ben, you're a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Jesus, you're a good boy. Holy cow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I've seen everything now, boy. Jesus, you're a good boy. Now, you see, when you repeat a certain phrase, when the dog is calm and, and really happy and it's a positive situation, you can use that phrase throughout his life to calm him down immediately in high stress. So, for example, something stresses your pup. You can immediately... No, don't take him over there, Tico. Don't take him over to hell. Come, come here. You can immediately use that phrase to uh, snap that dog right back into peace and quiet and calm. He, he associates a, a phrase with a very, very good feeling. And you do that from a pup. You pick a phrase you want to use, and I use good boy. And... And that that type of phrase. Come and lay up here, you. I'll put the camera. Up. Now you guys come when I get up. We'll go for a little walk, you guys. And show you guys off. We'll just go down and show them back up, you guys.
Nico, don't take him down there. Then, Kiko, bring him here. Don't take him down there. Come on, bit. Awesome. Come on, bro. Get up here. It's his first outing. Like, far outing. He's done hikes. Short stuff around the bush in the yard, but first big hike. Phenomenal. Focused. Not goofy. Mentally stable. Just an absolute dream dog. Amazing, really. Lots of guys got five-year-old dogs who can't do what he does. Not Alcons, but other breeds. Heck, lots of people got Alcons who can't do this. Not mine, but other lines. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, really, really spectacular dog. Gonna be a dark big fella, big people. Well, I got females at heat, and Tico's trying to leave me, so I'm gonna get rolling. He'll head back to the pen.